What is up guys, criminal here, but we're another character guide. I'm going to cover Li Mei now. Li Mei. I'm gonna pick her with Frost, because Frost has the best synergy with her out of the cameos we have right now. Frost. Again, very easy, like always. Because I, I want to give myself a fairly easy life as much as I can with these showcases, because I don't have a training mode. So yeah, Lime has a fairly short moveset, which is a very good thing for my mental health after that Kenshi thing, because it took me half an hour just to cover his moveset. So yeah, we have this thing first of all. Great for ending combos, so you can go into this, the flying knee. As for the frame data, it's minus 4 on block, so it's, fair, it's safe. It's safe, and it's very good, because it's really useful. And this one actually, if you stop it with the second hit, it's actually plus 2, so you can just target it like this. And they can't do much about it. Unless they use a break, like the bot did here. So yeah, next thing we have this one. The spinning kick at the end. Insane this plus and block. How much plus is it? Plus 6. Yeah, it's really plus. And even if you cancel it with the second hit, it's actually only minus 2. So yeah, oh, but after, right off the bat, he has great frame data. So yeah, let's move on. We have a few more strings. Nova Burst right here. As for the thing, it's minus seven, so it's fairly safe, and it probably has a lot. Yeah, it has a lot of pushback. It knocks them down on the on the asses, and it's 39 frames advantage. So you have a lot of time to set up a mix-up if you want to. If you just decide to try to catch them with the with the poke, the back two, it's minus six, so it's it's safe. So you can just throw it out randomly because it's minus tw it's 12 frames, so it's pretty fast. Next we have the flick kick. Just kicks them up. This can be really useful in certain situations, like for combos or just something like this, as you can see. Maybe, maybe the lamp can work with it. Let me try something for a second. I'm gonna try something for a second. Not that. Ah, oh, goddammit, it does that instead, because I have negative edge on. Hold on, what am I doing? That's spoilers. <laughs> Never mind, I, my creative mind got the best of me right there. It doesn't work anyway, a creative mind, bullshit mind, it didn't work. So, yeah, let's move on to this thing. Our frame advantage is ridiculous, so that kick I just showed you is zero on block, actually, so you could just spam buttons. If you spam on the correct button that is fast enough, aka standing one, like with most characters, you can actually get the mashing, because it's neutral, it's neutral. Next, we have this one. Back to... Oh, this one ends with the low, and the low is actually plus 7, if I'm not mistaken, this one. If they block it. And even the first one, there is a, a, a lunging forward attack with 7, 17 frames of startup, it's plus 3. Even on flawless, flawless blocks are the same as regular blocks when it comes to frame advantage in this game. So, if you get the second one, it's 27 frames, so it's really long, but if they block it, you're still plus 7. And even if they block the first attack and you stop there, you're still plus, so you can still do whatever you want. Next we have this one. That air and black kick looking at if you hold if you hold the button you get just a cancel so you can throw them. Really really straightforward button really very good mind game option. It's minus seven on block and it has some solid pushback so it's really fairly safe. And it launches them almost full screen basically. And if you cancel it, it's a fa fairly quick cancel actually. Not that slow, so you can most of the time you can get away with it. Next uh, next up we have this string right here. First of all, just standing four. As with most characters, Earth is plus. How plus exactly? I think plus three. Yeah, plus three. If you extend it to this one, double kick, it's only minus two as you just saw. And this one is like Kitano, you have to press both buttons preemptively in order for it to actually work. It's just a cinematic like string. Not that useful, the finisher. Not, not really a useful thing to do. So you won't use it most of the time. Alright, next up we have this one. Double kick, triple kick. This one is very useful. Because as you can see, she kicks them to the sky. What that means you can do something like this. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can just kick them, kick the shit out of them and kick them into the lantern. And then you can get some crazy good damage. I'll show you some stuff later. Next we have this one. Pretty much our best ring. And this one is because we go for combo start. We have this button right here. Good advancing glow. Good for a poke, you can catch them off guard. As for the frame data, it's minus 11, so we don't want to just stop it there. If you extend, if you actually land it, you can get it in this launcher here. It leads into this stuff. No, really, that's really good damage, and it's not even optimal. So, yeah, Lima has some solid damage. And if you, if you, if they block it, the best option is to go for this overhead right here. Now, the good thing about the Frost cameo, specifically, is that the ground freeze is low. So that becomes a mind game. You can do this on block, or you can do this. And that leads to a full combo. Alright, next up we have the air combos. Thanks to this thing, it's gonna be really easy to get them. The launcher, so... Air combos are incredible, really. We have two, basically. Two air strings and the universal kick. First one is this one. Very useful, and this is the second one. Oh, she died before I could finish it. The first one is your main, your main used one because it's it's a combo till you can cancel it in the special. The other one can't be cancelled. It's more of a finisher. I'll show it right now. This just just a finisher, and if you have the right cam, you can possibly extend this, and you can't cancel it in the cell deep. So both of them really work, but most of the time you will be using this one, the first one. Alright, that's it for the strings. She doesn't really have a lot, but all of them are great. Next, she has this projectile. Very good. Really fast. I think it's still higher in the Amplified. Yeah, the Amplified just does more damage and is minus 6 on block. So it's safe on block. If you throw it on a block string, the regular version, you will get punished. This one, you can't get punished. It's safe as long as you block. And it's also a pop-up. When it's amplified, it pops them up for a combo, and that, as you will see soon, is really what gives me my crazy combos. That and the lantern. She can also do it in the air. Same properties, really. That doesn't change a lot. Doesn't change at all, really. It's insanely unsafe in the air, though, so you don't want to do it in the air. Next, we have the lantern, our most unique move. It's completely unblockable. And it launches them regardless of how many lanterns you chain in the combo. So you can chain multiple ones and it will still launch them really high. So you just throw this. You throw this. They clash the lanterns actually. So if you do something like this, you give it a lantern. I dropped it, but you can see where I'm going here. This gives us some crazy combos. And it's also a very good thing to set up in the corner, in the end of combos, like something like this you do. Now they can jump, they have to take this. they have to take the mix. If they jump, the lantern gets them, because it's completely unblockable and detonates on, on impact. If something touches it, it will detonate. She also has a unique thing with the lantern, she can blow it up herself. And the explosion radius increases. So if you get the lantern, and you throw a projectile at it, I'll freeze her real quick so she stops squirming around like an insect. Stop moving. Now you just throw a projectile and it blows up the lantern. So it could be useful in some situations like this. So you can use it to gain some more control over the string. Next we have this one, Fu Tang. Mainly good for finishing combos where you can't chain this one in. So you just chain this. And it's an armored move when it's amplified, so it's a wake up option. Really cool looking as well. Next up we have Chain Reaction, one of the best ones. This, this flurry of punches. Because it's multiple attacks, she can go well with Jax's ground pound, as you can already expect. From what I showed you in the Liu Kang one, you can, you can see Lee Mei can get some crazy shit. Next we have the Flipping Kick. Really straightforward, just an instant tear over it, so you can just jump. And right away you can do this. And it's really out to block it. Like, tell me you reacted to that. Stop the cap. Like, you can actually get a double over as well. Triple, actually. So if they block the kick, they expect the kick. You can just chain in this as well. And that's good. So yeah, that's it for Lee Mei's special. 
Now let's show you a cool combo. Maximilian dude came up with this. Into the lantern. Oh, I dropped it, sorry. I actually didn't have a lot of time to play with Limei. I didn't play at all almost. I really rather... I much rather spend my time playing Johnny because I just love Johnny. Yeah, it broke. Uh, let's try to get this. I have a good idea. As you can see, most of the combos were just... You need a cameo like Frost for us, though. If you don't use someone like Frost, you just... It's really difficult to get in the, the that thing, the pop-up. So... As far as it goes to set up the lantern or stuff, she actually can do it in a combo for what I know. So, you need a cameo like this, and then do this entire... As you can see, she can launch you to the... To the stratosphere, basically. She can launch you to the sky, so... Yeah! I'll try to get it again, just to find the time. As you can see, she has some cool shit, really. She really, she's a fun character. She, they designed her amazingly, in my opinion. So yeah, let's just finish with the fatality, because it's really cool. One of the best fatalities we have in the game right now. From what you've seen, at least. I, I, like, I like how they return Frost to a human form instead of giving all that robot bullshit. She looks much better as a human. Alright, now finally let's talk about our game plan. Limei really is the one character out of all these characters that doesn't have really a strict game plan. She, she can do basically everything. If you want to zone, you can zone, get away, throw this thing, do the lanterns, throw the projectile into the lantern, and just zone like this. If you want to get in, be a rush down. She has great frame data, so you can get that too. And she can also have 50-50 if she uses a cameo like Frost. Because as I showed you earlier, she has a string with an overhead, and the Frost cameo is slow. So, you can do something like this. Get the cameo going. And you can see the damage really gets ridiculous with this character. I'm not really that good with her either, so... So yeah, the damage really is good with her. Yeah, that's pretty much Limei. She's a great addition to the game, I love her. I hate fighting against her because she's a really good character. One thing to mention, the fighter blow its overhead, so just watch out for that. Not really worth showing because it takes a while to get myself to low damage, so... Yeah, that was another character guide, really short obviously because Limei... She's not that complex, but she's a great character, and she's a lot of fun to figure out, and I'm sure with other cameos, and with more experience, even with Frost alone, you can get 50% combos easily with Limei, so... Yeah, that was Limei. They look great posing together, these two. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see if I can get the Kitana before the beta is over. Kitana is difficult for me, so I'll, try, I'll do my best. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Peace.